Welcome back, dreamers, to another episode of Classics Vault Thursday featuring Sukoden. Now, this is the third part of our gameplay, and we've just returned from obtaining the star charts from Lady Lecknot. And now we're about to report our success on Craze. Now, you may have noticed that I didn't add any commentaries on the previous video. That was because uh, that part, actually this part up to here, is still pretty much straightforward and didn't actually need any commentaries. I've only decided to add it back on this episode since there are a few things that need to be said and I'd rather say it rather than add it post-editing. Post so, yeah, it's the ast astral conclusions, not the star charts, I'm sorry. Okay, I guess you've done your job. You're apparently not totally useless. Well, I'd say that Chris is a lot more useless than we are, since he's only standing there in his office. We don't even, we didn't even get paid for what we've done. Okay, so here is the second task Craze has for us. So we're to go east of Gregminster to Rockland. We've already been there before. It's where Marco is. You, you guys remember that um, early money trick that I showed you? Yeah, we need to go back there and deal with the fact that it seems Rockland isn't paying their taxes. Kane is really, really annoying. I'll tell you guys this right now. I don't like his character. I, rem I remember thinking that even way back when I first played this game. So we have to take Kane in with us to meet with Grady in Rockland. Well, I have more words than just saying creep to describe Kanan. Okay, so before anything else, unless you've um, equipped the best equipment on your characters, you m must do it right now. And also, if you haven't leveled up thus far, you can do so before heading to Rockland, since the next... Um, dungeon that we'll be traversing has um, pretty pretty tough enemies but first let's um, let's save our game because you never know what might happen so as you may have also noticed, we don't have any <coughs> ability to run since we need the, um, the Holy Rune in order to run in this game. And I'd rather not attach the Holy Crystal to any of <laughs> these guys thus far because we will be getting a character that has already one equipped and he has the true rune. The true holy crystal rune. Alright. Um, now that we have that. Equipped on Cleo, the fire rune. I just... Um, rest in the inn to replenish our MP. Since this is the only way you can replenish MP in this game. You have to rest... In ends. All right, now that's done. Let's head out of Gregminster and make our way to Rockland. But first, before that, I'd advise you all to <coughs> um, 
sharpen your weapons. Since we've already got a lot of money for that, no need to be stingy. Also, the water rune piece is pretty, pretty much one of the most useful rune pieces you could attach to a weapon as it adds, it has a healing property. It um, replenishes a little bit of your HP at every turn, which is pretty helpful, especially the further we get into this game and the tougher the enemies become. So I'm gonna sharpen all of their weapons to level 5. All of their weapons that is except for Ted. Because of spoilers. Alright, now that our preparations are complete, I'd say we're almost complete. Um, let's see if I can buy a couple more decent equipment for our heroes. You know, one of the things that I, I'm annoyed by in this game is that it has uh, every character has a limited amount of slots, weapon, uh, item slots, I mean. And I'm not really good with um, limiting the items. I'm making sh I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much a hoarder when it comes to RPG games. So let's equip. Equip the new equipment. <laughs> it's kind of redundant. And I also can't remember what button to press in order to go back a page when equip equipping the characters. So I always end up exiting the whole menu. Let's sell the things we don't need. We're running out of space. Yeah, I don't think we can buy any more. Alright, now I'm pretty sure we're done now. So let's head on to Rockland. As I've said, you can take this time to level up your character some more if you're still running low. And I mean, if you're still lo low leveled. And if you didn't um, try to obtain the two of the missable crystals, rune crystals. Here we go, Rockland. Also, you can take this time to um, play with Marco some more and try to obtain more money if you haven't done so before. Since um, that trick is only good for while Marco is still in Rockland. Wow, we took a while for him to realize what his support subordinate just said.
So I think you guys can pretty much tell where we'll, we'll, where we'll be going next. Yep, we're gonna be getting rid of the bandits that have settled themselves in Mount Seifu. Of course, Kanan is the one who will agree to do that. But he'll place the responsibility of actually doing it on us. We don't have a choice, so of course. Mount Seifu is east of Rockland. It's actually a short distance away from where we are. And since we don't need to actually buy anything here, we can just head out there. See? Short distance away. Mount Seifu. Now, as this um, dungeon it's pretty much still pretty much straightforward. It has a lot of um, crossroads and paths, but we actually it doesn't it isn't actually that hard to figure out where we need to go. It's still pretty linear. I don't think any of the dungeons in this game are otherwise. Man, Kanan's such a kid. This dungeon also houses quite a few um, treasure chests. Some a little bit out of the way than others. So here we go, Mount Seifu. Also, um, with the level we have now, these enemies are a piece of cake. I was thinking if I should just have them attack using the free will option. But since this is the first time we'll be fighting these soldier ant enemies, I decided to just manually input the commands. Just to see how strong these ants are. Which they don't seem to actually be. So free will. So some may say that um, I'm a bit overleveled, which I think isn't really bad when it comes to this game since come on move there. Since um, I'm preparing for the part where we actually we have to go to Necklord's castle. That's one of the most annoying parts of the game. I remember actually being so frustrated at how tough the enemies were there that I think I stopped playing the game for a while. So I don't want I don't want a repeat of that. Also, I'm welcoming any um, 
1,000 bits. It's like the biggest um, money we've obtained from a treasure chest thus far. As I was saying, I'm welcoming any suggestions you have in improving um, my videos. So, if you guys would want um, the random battle strip from this video, tell me. If you would rather have uh, no commentaries on this video, tell me that as well. I'm always willing to listen to what you guys have to suggest. And I may incorporate them, as long as those suggestions are actually helpful and within reason. So this is the last treasure chest in this um, part of Mount Seifu. We can now head north. And of course, <laughs> the random battle. I don't really mind the random battles, it's just, it usually takes um, space and time away from the actually meaty parts of the game when I'm recording. It takes the time away from that. Alright, so you guys see that sprite over there? That is our first boss battle. But I would actually would it actually call it a boss battle since it's it's one of those um, story driven ones that you can't really win. It's a scripted battle. And it's one that will sort of um, showcase what Ted is capable of. So yeah, we can just defend here and wait for the event script to kick in that forces us out of the battle. Oh great, <gasps> Pan's been knocked out. There we go. So apart from being an idiot, Kanan is actually a coward, a big fat coward. So okay Ted, let's see how you handle the Queen Ant.
I already know the answer to how he did it, but as I want this to be as spoiler free as possible until the time of the reveal, I'm not gonna say how he did it. Alright, so before anything else, let's heal Pan. As well as the others. Now we're almost at the end of the dungeon. Where the true first boss battle is. Alright, so first we save because up past that stairs is where we'll fight the Mount Seifu bandit who is said to be causing trouble for the people of Rockland. I'm pretty sure you guys already have an idea on what is actually going on in Rockland and these thieves. I mean, there are a lot of hints dropped already, but for those who try having a hard time <laughs> piecing them together um, is actually Grady who's um, hoarding the people's taxes, even raising them in order for him to live a life of luxury. Basically, Grady's pocketing <laughs> the people's money. And he just happens to have found the scapegoat in Varkaz and Sidonia. Alright, here we go, the first boss battle. Which, at the level of where our characters are at, shouldn't be too hard for us. That's it. See, I told you guys it wouldn't be that hard.
Okay, so it's a good thing we didn't have to walk all the way back. That would have sucked. Regardless of whether the enemies in Mount Seifu are weaker than us or not. Okay, so you have to go back to Rockland and inform Grady that we've captured the so-called tax, tax thieves. There's actually um, an optional battle we can do in Rockland and we're gonna do it. Just head over to here. So we have an option of fighting these um, Imperial soldiers bullying the kid. And since I hate bullies, we're gonna fight them. And we're gonna beat them and make them cry. This battle is so optional that there's actually no... See? There's no, not even a thank you unless you want... You talk to this kid. Here we go. So we're gonna get a reward, but we're gonna lose it anyway. Because Kanan is gonna take it away. Yeah, right. Efforts. Alright, so before anything else, um, I would advise you all to take any important items, if there are any, from Ted and put them um, somewhere else or give it to anyone else since something is gonna happen that will take Ted away from the party. The same goes for Pan, but he'll be back later in the story. So we can just let him keep those items for now.
All right, so what we have to... Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. What we have to do is go back to the McDoll Mansion. Unless, of course, you guys want to buy some stuff, you can, before going back and triggering this cutscene. Of course we're gonna help. <laughs> And there you go, the first part of the big reveal about Ted's identity. He's been alive for 300 years and he knows Wendy, who has been after the true rune that is on Ted's right hand. If memory serves, there, there are only 27 true runes and um, the one Ted has is one of them which makes it more powerful than the common runes dropped by the enemies or bought at the stores
So the correct answer is the first option. Basically, all the choices in this part of the game is should be one that accommodates what Ted wants. I think it was pretty obvious that this is what Pan would do. Although the question remains, did he do the right thing? In telling the Imperial Guards where Ted was. And if his, his reason of not wanting to cause trouble while Teo is away, is justified. What do you guys think? So the thing is, we promised um, Ted that we would keep the Soul Eater away, so we'll agree to what he wants to keep um, the rune safe. See, Clay under understands. Alright, so after leaving the house, what we have to do for the story to continue is head on over to Marie's Inn, which is the inn here at Grogminster. Gregminster, I mean. <laughs> so we have to take a bit of a roundabout way to keep the guards from seeing us.
so what we have to do now against better judgment is to head back down to the inn's lobby and try to leave um, the inn and first I'm gonna save the game <laughs> So second option is the best option. Oh, if only these guys knew. And in comes Victor. Now if you've guy you guys played the other Sukuden games, then you know that Victor is a recurring character. Victor just used you to use us to keep himself from paying the bill. Alright, so I'm gonna cut our playthrough here for now. So anyways, I'll see you all again on the next video.
The fourth episode of our Sukuden Classics Ball Thursday playthrough will be uploaded and published next Thursday, as always. So if you guys have any suggestions, like I've said before, drop by on the comment section and tell me. And I'll see you all next time. Like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And as always, dream on, fly on!